Welcome back to Recap. We're back at it once again, hitting a brand new band to the channel. This is Indigenous and their song Little Time. Okay, this is Indigenous. The song is called Little Time. I definitely don't know it. Don't know the song. Don't know the band. Um, Jeff Dennis suggested this. He donated to the channel once again. This was his uh, suggestion with his donation. He said this is actually a two for one. There's a second song called The Ghost of Tom Joad that is after Little Time. And it's an instrumental. And this is both songs combined together. So it's like about a 13 minute video. That's no big deal here. We've done plenty of videos long, that, that length and longer. So we're all good here. If there is a commercial, I'll try to edit it out and do the best I can with that. If there's an ad. Um, just want to mention that they are, are I got some notes here. They're a Native American band. They're blues rock. And they're influenced by Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix. So anyway, if you'd like to be like, uh, like Jeff Dennis, donations right there to Venmo and PayPal. Just want to mention that that is just going so, so well. I'm really, really appreciative of all the donations, appreciative of, of even if you haven't donated the likes and the comments and the subscribers and, and, and everything and all the views and everything, everybody that's helped this channel out, it's just very, very appreciative and it's humbling to, to see people donate their hard earned money to me for my channel just because it's something they enjoy so much and that's why I do this. Anyway, um, I just want to mention as well, one last thing. Uh, David Seidner, Larry Gindoff, and Jonah Marshall. They also all donated on the same day Jeff Dennis did. So I've got a few videos to get to, but Jeff's was first, so I'm just going in order. But don't worry, guys. I, you know, I got all your suggestions. I will get to them for sure. But for right now, let's get to this one. Indigenous, little time. Here we go. Oh, right off the bat. gotta say i'm gonna rewind it. i'll go back to the beginning again uh right off the bat it sounds like uh like stevie ray vaughn it sounds like a, a stevie ray vaughn song i don't remember particularly which one but the start of it sounds like steve ray vaughn i guess you know that makes sense he said they were don't they were um influenced by stevie ray as well as Jimi hendrix but yeah right off the bat, it's something i i immediately picked up on as soon as the song started all right let's restart this here we go Okay, I mean, this is right out of Stevie Ray Vaughan's playbook. I mean, this is just like a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. It sounds just like it. Now, have I missed the boat? Is, is there actually, is this a cover of a Stevie Ray Vaughan? I mean, it sounds that much like it to me. Uh, that I'm thinking maybe this is a cover of an actual Stevie Ray Vaughan song. It sounds that much like it. If it's not, yeah, they are definitely heavily influenced, and this is not a bad thing at all. I'm not saying this is a negative at all, because I love Stevie Ray Vaughan, and this song is a good song. I'm I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Hopefully you are too. Get back. Oh, 
Okay, I'm assuming that's the end of the little time we're going to get into the ghost of uh, Tom Jode. Uh, I really like that song quite a bit. I'm, I'm going to try to search this out, see if it's on like Apple Music or whatever. want to download it. Really enjoyed it. We had a guitar solo in there. I don't know the name, the band members' names yet. I will get those before the close. So I have that information uh, for everybody if, you, if you're interested in learning about them, as I always am. Um, some interesting things. I like the congas. The, the fact that they have a regular drum kit and somebody playing congas. In the, so it's like almost like two drummers. And then, you know, you got your bassist. No keys. That's fine. That's their style. Everybody's got their own style. But I enjoyed that song. I thought it was just a good song. Like, it was catchy. I, you know, I, you know, definitely some like toe-tapping music. Sounds a little like Stevie Ray Vaughan in a good way. And, yeah, that and the guitar solo was impressive. So let's see what this other song has in store. Goodness.
I'm going to go back 10 seconds so we don't miss anything. But this guy on the guitar, again, I will get his name before the end. My goodness, that was a great, great solo. And this instrumental is really, really good. Uh, the bassist is impressing me as well. Everything about it, I'm really, really digging. Um, but, you know, the star of the show, you know, especially for me, you know, the way I like guitars and guitar solos, is definitely the lead singer here. He is just going off. And, yeah, that, impre that was a really, really impressive guitar solo. I think it's kind of settled down now. We'll see what else we got in store. We still have a few minutes left to go. Uh, maybe somebody else have a solo, or maybe we'll just get another guitar solo, or maybe they're just going to kind of jam out and play out the rest of the way. We don't know, so let's find out. I'm going to go back 10 seconds, like I said. Very good. Wow. <laughs> With the stink face. My goodness.
for coming out. We are new to this. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Have a good night. Thank you all for coming out. See you again. Very good. Oh, there's the names. Uh, it's just the credits I'm going to turn off. Okay, there you have it. That is Indigenous with Little Time. Uh, also, The Ghost of Tom Jode. I got to say, I actually like the instrumental, the second one, even more than the first one. I mean, there were some killer, killer solos throughout that whole performance, but especially in the second one, uh, the guitar work was absolutely stellar. So I got the band members' names. They went by on the screen there. Um, it was Mato... Let me make sure I got this right. Mato Nanji, and that is the lead singer and guitarist. Now, in this one, they have Wan, Wan, Wamdi, PTE, and Horse are the other guys that are, are uh, mentioned. And according to Wikipedia, those are all past members. So this is probably an older video. The current members now, the only one that we saw perform there is Ma, uh, Mato Nanji. So he seems like he's kind of like the leader of the band. But whatever the case may be, I was really impressed. His vocals were pretty, were okay, you know, pretty good on point, and uh, the guitar work was absolutely stellar. I mean, this song, I mean, they had some cool, you know, two drums, the drum kit, and the the congos. The bass line was good, the bass was good, but this is all about the guitars. I mean, right? Guitar work absolutely stellar. So Jeff Dennis knows what we like here. He he gave us a, an absolutely great song, one that I'm definitely gonna want to listen to again. So uh, I want to thank Jeff one last time. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This was right up our alley. This is blues rock. Fantastic. I, another one of these bands. How many of these bands do you come across where you never heard of? And they're absolutely fantastic. This is just another example of it. I mean, it just keeps happening over and over and over again. There's so much talent out there. There's so much to listen to, so much to enjoy. Hopefully we get to a lot of it. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you are too. And until next time, I will see you later. Mm -hmm.